Okay, Dustin says he's had sex with more than 300 women. And he's certainly not going to let one tell him what to do. Take a look. I've been with 300 women. I've got uh, four kids. And I got, well, I got four baby mama and six kids. Oh. Boy, that's almost like what? Uh, one kid per 80. Yeah. <laughs> So why are you here? Because if you have 300 women, you don't need to be looking here. Well, I've been talking to this girl, Morgan, and I've been actually having sex with her, and we've been seeing each other for about three months. Oh, so this, it's like a, for you, that's a serious relationship. No. Well, she thinks I'm... <laughs> You've seen her for three months. I've been having sex with her for three months. Yeah. And she thinks that I'm her boyfriend, and she's real possessive. And I'm not, I've never told her that I was her boyfriend. Never ever told her I wanted to be her boyfriend. Did you tell her you loved her? I never told her I loved her. You don't tell any of the women you no. love? No. No. So what do you do? You just say, hey, how's it going? Uh, take so, off your clothing. Sometimes I say what I got to say just to get, just to get what I want. And usually, uh, nine times out of ten, I get what I want anyway, because I just say what I have to say to persuade them to give me what I want. So, like, you could go to any woman here and get her right away? Yeah. <laughs> Do you have money you want to bet me? <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. So, but anyway, this one, you got to admit, if you've seen 300 women and you are sleeping with one for three months, that's fairly significant out of those 300. This one kind of stands out a little bit. Otherwise, you wouldn't keep going back to her for three months. Well, I mean, she, when, I started to, when I started actually having sex with her, I mean, the sex is great. But I just don't want to be tied down. She wants more of a relationship with me, and I don't want to be in a relationship. She, she's, like, real possessive, and she's, she's psycho about it. She's always going through my phone, asking me if I'm, going to, if I'm cheating. And well, of course I, you are. I'm not going to admit to her that I'm cheating. You, but whoa, whoa, whoa. You mean to tell me these women don't know that you're seeing someone else? No, I tell them I, I have to go to the store or something. And How I much shopping can you do? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, anyway, so there's Morgan, three months. She's being possessive. She really wants a relationship with you. So one day I had my phone, and she's always wanting to go through my phone. Yeah. So I, I actually, uh, I told her, I said, here, go through my phone. She starts going through my phone. And Why'd you tell her to do that? Because oh. she don't trust me. But see, oh. I erased all my text messages anyway, oh. so I had everything erased. <laughs> well, I go to get in the shower, and I leave my phone out there. Oh. And the stripper that I've been talking to and, and uh, going to see at the club, she... Uh, Text if you're sleeping with 300 women, why do you need to go to a strip club? Because it's always fun to get somebody new. <laughs> so if she comes out the shower and she starts asking me about these texts. She said, what, who is this? I said, I, I, see, I ain't talking to nobody. Well, she shows me my phone with the text messages on it. And that you were busted. I was busted. Yeah. And then she, it, all hell breaks loose. She actually goes and starts yelling at me. And everything else, and it was bad. It was really bad. But this stripper is just amazing. I mean, she's got black hair, and oh, she's got the wow. rocker girl. She's yeah. got the rocker girl look. Yeah. But she just, she's got an ass that won't quit. Yeah. I mean, just, I mean, that's what I like. Well, at some point, you better quit, because. Uh, well, when I went to the club, I was sitting there, and I had to go in the VIP room. I was sitting in a chair like this. Yeah. And I put a dollar bill on my face, just like this. <laughs> and this stripper. You are into big money. Oh. <laughs> A whole dollar? I put a whole dollar on my face, Jerry, and she actually goes over top of me and takes the dollar off my face with her. <laughs> but. <laughs> you sure that's not an ATM machine you were messing with? Because you put that in the ATM machine, it just sucks it right in. That's what it did. All right. And so there you go. You lost your dollar. Right. Now what? Now, you know, I just like, I like having sex with just, you know, just, and it's fun to have sex with this stripper. So I've been, I've been seeing her here and there, and we've been hooking up.
Okay. And but your girlfriend now knows because she saw the text message. Right. So what's the point? I mean, I'm glad you're here. You seem like a fun guy, but what's the point? Well, she really, because she, when she confronted me, oh. she actually asked me if I've ever hooked up, and I've told her I've never hooked up with a stripper. But now she knows. But now she knows. But actually hooked up. Well, okay, Ashley, now, oh, Ashley, is she the stripper? Yes. Or at least that's the name she goes by because they don't tell you the real name. Right. How many times have you been with this, Ashley? Like three times. Three times. Was it three dollars or just the one dollar? <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> so, uh, so he comes to the. I mean, does this happen often? I mean, the guy comes to the to the strip club and you immediately. Was he Actually, really nice? Actually, no. Guy? Like he's. What he happened? Was, yeah. He was really, really fun. Like. Yeah. Obviously attractive and yeah. was in with his friends. We had a really good time. They asked me to come out sometime and I did. So you gave him the we number and then you got out. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 He says, yeah. yeah. And he says it's happened about three times. Yeah, it's happened several times, okay. yeah. Did he tell you he has a girlfriend? Um, well, she's not his girlfriend. Oh, I see. Yeah. She's not his girlfriend. She's just crazy. Well, here she is. Here's Morgan. Morgan. Hi. Um, you've heard what's going on. I mean, he admits to doing this now, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, but he says that he never meant for it to be serious with you two. What do you want to say to him? <laughs> he calls me every day. I've been sleeping with him for about five, six times every week. To me, that kind of says that we're in a relationship for three, four months. Yeah. He never said nothing before. That don't he mean... Never said before. Look, that don't mean that I'm in a relationship just because we have sex. Really? What about talking about that we are going to move in together? Did I ever say I loved you? No, but that's irrelevant. What, are we in the fifth grade? You got to ask to meet my boyfriend all of a sudden? Have I ever told you I've ever took you on a date? Yeah, yeah, we talked about living together. McDonald's is not a date. No, it's not. We talked about living together. You never said nothing before. I just said, said it so I could have sex with you. That's all I wanted. How about me meeting your parents? I'm All my you friends meet my parents. You live with your grandma. Oh. What are you going to take her home to grab one? Introduce her to your mom and your dad and everything like you did me? I don't live with my grandma. I just told you that so that way I have an excuse to go there. Oh, that makes perfect sense. <sighs> All right. But do you, do you, did you ever think that he really was a guy who would settle down? Yes. I mean, listening, so he hasn't told you about all these other women he's come I introduced him to my family and my child. Yeah, well, that's... My child asks about yeah. him all the time. All you did is drag me there. I just put up with it just because I had to put up with it. So you it. put it on a front with every other bitch's kids? I don't even like her either. What, are you daddy daycare now? I, I don't even like her. I don't even, I don't even know. I just like having fun. What, you're well, not man enough to be honest now? That's a fair question. I mean, if you want to play around, you want to play around, but why not just tell her, hey, look, I play around. I could have at least I mean, kept my child away from a man like you. Sometimes I had to do what I had to do to get it. And I, you know, what else can I say? All right. There's no future here. Am I right? Obviously. Yeah, but I mean, not even one that you would want. Obviously not. We'll be back. Yeah.